One of the first things anybody needs to do when diagnosing a diesel problem, whether it be a crank no start or a drivability concern, one of the first things we need to do is check the engine oil level. Now today I've got a six liter power stroke here and I've also got a five nine high pressure common rail Cummins and this six liter is a Huey system. Uh, just like the six liter or the seven three power strokes, they use high pressure engine oil to actuate the injectors. So let's take a look at the engine oil level here on this truck. I pull the dipstick here. There's not a drop of oil on this dipstick at all. That's gonna give us a good indication of why this truck might be a crank no start. This thing needs over 500 PSI of high pressure oil to turn the injectors on. And so now if there's no oil on the dipstick, well, we're probably not getting enough oil pressure in order to actuate the injectors. So with this truck, we need to have oil. This might be as simple as adding oil, get the truck started up, and then look to see if we're burning it or if it's leaking. Now let's go over to this high pressure common rail system and take a look at the oil level in that truck. Now we've got a 5.9 Cummins high pressure common rail system. Uh, Duramax is some of the newer power strokes all use high pressure common rail systems as well. So we're not necessarily relying on high pressure oil in these trucks, but rather high pressure fuel. So as I check the oil level on this particular truck, take a look, wow, this thing is about a quart and a half over full on oil. And so this is what's referred to as building oil. This truck doesn't uh, just build oil on its own. What's happening is we're getting fuel leaking into the oil system here and it is causing the oil level to be over full. Now what that's gonna indicate to us is we might have a high pressure leak somewhere. Take a look at this injector with a feed tube. That's a press type fit here. So we could have a leak where these two connect together or we could have a faulty injector. This particular truck has 208,000 miles on the original set of injectors yet. And based on uh, some of the customer concerns being a lack of power, some smoke issues, as well as building oil, I'd say it's time for this truck to get a set of new injectors as well as new feed tubes. While we're in here doing this, of course we're gonna change the oil, put on a new set of filters, air filter, fuel filter, oil filter as well, and get this truck ready to go for another 208,000 miles. Hopefully now you see whether you're working on a Huey system with high pressure oil or on a common rail with high pressure fuel, it's equally as important to start your diagnosis just by checking the oil level. There's gonna be more to continue beyond that, but that's where we need to start our diagnosis. Always check the oil level.